Now with this next example, we're going to take a look at how to find the sample size required. It says, you are the operations manager for an airline and you are considering a higher fare level for passengers in aisle seats. How many randomly selected air passengers must you survey? Assume that you want to be 90% confident that the sample percentage is within 3.5 percentage points of the true population percentage. Okay. Now, for this problem, we could actually use StatCrunch to find the sample size. Now, for part A, it's saying assume that nothing is known about the percentage of passengers who prefer aisle seats. Okay, so for part A, we don't know anything about the percentage of passengers. Now in StatCrunch, let's do a side-by-side -side view. Okay, we go to Stat, Proportion Stats, one sample. Then we go to Width slash Sample Size. So let's go ahead and put in our confidence level that we're trying to achieve. We want to be 90% confident, so we put 0 0.90. Now the width here, whatever the margin of error is that it tells us, it tells us we want to be within 3.5 percentage points. What we have to do is we actually have to multiply that by two. So one for each side of our confidence interval for the lower bound and the upper bound. So 3.5 times two gives us seven. So we have seven percentage points. So now what we have to do is just change seven into seven percent into a decimal. So we have 0 0.07. Now our target proportion, when we don't know anything, our target proportion is 0 0.5, so half of the population. Click on compute, and now this tells us our sample size required. So we have 553. Next, for part B it says, assume that a prior survey suggests that 37% of air passengers prefer an aisle seat. So this time we're given a little bit of information. We had this survey that told us 37% of air passengers prefer an aisle seat. So now our target proportion, we're going to go ahead and change that. Let's change our width back to 0 0.07. And now our target proportion is going to be 0 0.37. And now since we had some actual information, we're not going to need as big of a sample. We're not going to need as big of a sample size. So if I click on compute, we should see that the sample size is actually lower now, which it is. We have 515. Not 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 that much lower, but it is a little bit lower. 